sunset Down in the valley It's a glowing sunshine I feel good. I think I'm crazy But only made me Is wrong Cause you had the seven and an angel Comes rubbing through the night The seven and in the day And only God knows why When I look into your eyes And I'm here to tell you today that history is alive and well in Chautauqua County, ladies and gentlemen I'm in uh, Celebration Hall in Mayville, New York And today is the second event of the Bicentennial for Chautauqua County. It's called Two Towns, Two Centuries. So we're going to show you around, interview people, and um, it's a great time. Welcome to Destination Chautauqua County. And I'm with Kathy Peterson, and she's with the Rural Ministries. I'm going to let her tell you about their event here. Um, brought my canned foods in for you earlier today. We are so pleased to be part of this wonderful celebration. I believe that we've already collected 100 pounds of food. This food will go to help our emergency food pantry, which provides about 40,000 meals annually, as well as our as well as our soup kitchen, which also serves about 42,000 meals, 365 a days a, a year to anybody who's hungry. 365 days. We are. We're open Monday through Friday, 365 days a year. We serve breakfast, lunch, dinner, and we serve two weekend meals. So where are you guys located at? We're located at 127 to 135 Central Avenue. Our headquarters are at 127. Our soup kitchen's at 131 Central Avenue. And then we have our, our thrift shop, which uh, displays household items and clothing, and that's at 135 Central Avenue. And I know Central Avenue, that's where the fair is, correct? Well, that is, that's where we're down toward the lake end of uh, Central Avenue, but that's exactly where the fair is at. So you're doing really good, and um, you requested today to have food brought instead of an admission price? Great idea. What a great idea. Of course, we're always uh, happy with monetary donation, but these donations of canned items help our emergency food pantry. Um, we're able to get those right on our shelves, and they can be used as soon as we open up again Monday morning. So uh, for people that need, are in need, they just come to your office? And um, there's no cost, or is there a cost involved? There is not a cost. Our emergency food pantry is open Monday through Friday, 8 o'clock to 4 o'clock. All individuals do is have to walk in. We're also accepting applications right now for Easter food baskets. So if you know somebody or if somebody is in need uh, for the holiday, upcoming Easter holiday, we're also going to be providing some special food baskets for Easter time to help families as well as uh, some baskets for children. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. I see much. some candy over there. Yes. Can we're I? giving out uh, Twix bars today, but we're also giving out the healthy granola bars also. So we'll sneak you a Twix bar. A Twix bar. Right. I like. Well, I've been waiting for this moment. I've had these passports. I bought them, uh, I think it was February 9th at the Suites. Yes. And, um, my group's part in here, uh, the beam is still ferry, but I have three of them. I'm greedy. I would like to stamp. Uh, there's, I'll let this fine lady here tell about the passport stamping program also. The passport contains a different page for each event, historical museums, summer events, and 
you buy the passport for two dollars and then get a stamp at each event and the more stamps you have the more prizes you're eligible for at the end of the year so it's and they're really cute no matter how many events you go to so we're uh i'm gonna get a prize uh, 16 stamps and you're eligible for the drawing for a weekend at Peak and Peak. Oh, I'll go to Peak and Peak. <laughs> Can do that. And these are to benefit the budget for the bicentennial events. And each uh, individual place has a separate stamp, I see. And they're different colors. And they're different colors. And we're going to be stamping ours on the ferry in July. And um, you also have the little pins. They show the lake and the basics of the county. Yep, and these will be available at most all the events? Uh, not all of them. Oh, okay. I think this one and the historical fair in August. Okay. So. Well, I got my first passport stamp. Get the one on the floor. I'm ready to go get back on the airplane now and fly to my next country. Thank you. Welcome to two towns, two centuries. This is our celebration. The first event of many for the county to celebrate 200 years of our county from 1811 to now 2011. Thank you for coming and welcome all of you. Give me a few minutes and I'll explain some of the things that are going on. But right now first, we're gonna make sure that the VFW here does their color guard presentation. We're gonna do the opening prayer and then the pledge to the flag. Thank you.
other arm. Right shoulder arm. Right thigh. Forward mark. I uh, just entered Celebration Hall. I smell food. Now I'm looking at this fine lady and it says 4th of July Parade Committee. Yes. Now where's this parade at? It runs right through the heart of the county seat here in Mayville. It runs from the county courthouse down to Lakeside Park. Now how long, Rita, have you been involved with this? I have been on the committee since probably 1988 or so, so well over 20 years. Wow, you've seen a lot of parades then. <laughs> um, yeah. So today you're just serving food, raising some money, because um, I'm pretty sure the parade doesn't cost, or I mean, I'm, yeah, let's try that again. Mm -hmm. The parade costs quite a bit of money to put on. Yes, it does. The prizes for the parade alone are well over $8,000, and then we offer free entertainment at the park all day long with bands, and we do have some amusement rides that are very reasonably priced. We have vendors with food. The entire day's celebration costs upwards of $30,000. $30,000. Now, what happens if it rains? Does the parade just stop, or...? We have to make the call that day. It's not really been... I don't remember very many times that we've ever had to actually call it. Maybe fireworks at the end of the day, but we always have a rain date for the next evening. But it, it shouldn't rain on the 4th of July. Oh, it shouldn't, but don't rain on my parade. I've yeah, heard that right. somewhere. Uh, <laughs> so um, now this year being uh, the 200th uh, bicentennial for the county, is there any special activities planned for the parade? We are inviting several groups from across the county. We've invited all of the historical societies and different veterans groups. We're trying to expand our mailings for the parade to get more people involved and make it more of a bicentennial theme. That's We are theming our entire celebration around the county bicentennial this year. Now how long does it take to organize something? I've been to this parade. It lasts way over two hours. That's just the parade. Now how? I mean, when do you start planning this? Uh, like a couple weeks before, a year before? No. <laughs> um, we actually start planning for the next year, the day after the celebration. We try not to have our meetings until we start our formal meetings, usually in January. But we take calls year-round for the celebration because it just, it, we, that's what we do. How many years do you think this parade's actually been going on for? We did find some paperwork that said that the parade, there was one I saw from like 1961, I believe. It's, it's been a tradition for years and years here in Mayville. And there was a time when they split the committee between somebody, a parade committee and a committee for down at the park. And then there was, there may have been a year or two that we didn't have the parade. And then the committee kind of revitalized itself and we've been going strong ever since well I can't wait it's getting close <laughs> less than three months so but it's really wonderful when you guys can actually film it and put it on TV so that a lot of the shut-ins and elderly can see it too without having to actually go out for it so that's a great convenience for them and they know they appreciate it I guess my last question is how many people are on your committee one two a hundred <laughs> We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe eight of us. That's really? Really. Now, who are these two fine ladies here? <laughs> you got helpers. This is Chris Cooper <laughs> and Lori Gilbert, two of our, our longtime helpers here, volunteers. Um, they work year-round also. It's just we do what we do because we like to give back to our community that's given so much to us. So. Well, thank you, Rita. Thank you. Okay. Reno Pottery is on County Route 54 on the Centralia Hartfield Road, a mile from the deli. Okay. 